my lovelies i hope you're all well so today i'm going to show you a layered box frame the image is from opal studios it's run by rachel and she creates brilliant brilliant layered svgs i will link to her in the description box below for making my layered box frame today, I am going to be using Paper Mill Direct Card. Now, I love their card range. It is so extensive and they do all different types. So you've got double sided, you've got single sided, there's glitters, there's pearls, there's normal. I mean, it's just so extensive. The range is amazing. I am so so excited because they have bought out pretty much all their cardstock range is now available in 12 by 12. It's also available in 12 by 24, which I love because I feel that a lot of things are aimed towards the A4 range and of course our mats are 12 by 24 or 12 by 12. So to be able to get cardstock in an entire range that fits on those mats so you can really use the cardstock to its full potential is amazing to me. I love working with their cardstock, it cuts beautifully. I'm going to show you how well their cardstock cuts today. So you can see here we've got some pearl in 12 by 12. I've got glitter in 12 by 12 and the color range on these is really extensive as well. So I've got some planes in 12 by 12. I do have to point out some of these I have purchased myself, some of them Paper Mill Direct sent me. I never accept sponsorship and I only review products that I want to review. Uh, that is a very firm term and condition that I have with companies that want to send items to me. Uh, I will always try them but I will only review them if I'm happy to spend my own money. I have spent my own money but I do want to point out that they did send me some as well. As well as sending myself some card in 12 by 12, they've also given me a pack to give away. I am so, so excited to be able to bring this to you. So this is going to be a giveaway on Instagram. You need to go across to my Instagram page, which is a link in the description below, and you'll be able to enter this giveaway. So I've got my layered image here, which is from Opal Studios. As I say, they have a wide range of different uh, layered SVGs. The designs are amazing. So as I say, you do want to go check those out. I don't need to do anything with the files. I just need to upload them and then resize them. I've colored them because I want to do them in colored cardstock. But of course, if you're going to put them in a box frame, you're going to put light behind them. You don't need to have them colored. You can just do them in a white cardstock. But I really wanted to do a colored frame. So we can then go to make it. You want to make sure that your layers are as you want them and you can then go to continue. Now I always talk about how no machine is universal and there's so many different elements that come into it. Uh, you know, the age and the wear of your blade, uh, which blade you're using, uh, the condition of your mats. These things will all kind of add to the cut settings that you're going to use and a cut setting that works for me isn't necessarily going to work for someone else but for the general part I always give a cut setting and that's always a good starting place so for all the paper mill direct cardstock whether it be plain glitter pearl whatever it is I use the same cut setting and it works really well and I use it when I'm doing fine cuts with the card as well and the setting I use is the craft board setting. I find it works really well across the board and as I say it works with smaller cuts as well. With detailed cuts like this I do tend to use my deep cut blade, not for the depth but because the angle on the blade is greater so I find that it works really well with small intricate cuts. But the deep cut blade along with the craft board I find will work exceptionally well with the paper mill direct card but if you're doing a design that's not really really that detailed then you can use your premium blade it'll work fine and in fact you could use your premium blade for this it's just I find I get a cleaner cut 
with my deep cut blade when I'm doing small intricate cuts. So with paper mill card, it can be quite heavy. So I tend to either use a new blue mat or a used green mat. I find that a new green mat is too strong for the card and sometimes a well used blue mat is too weak to hold the card. So I'll either do a new blue mat or I'll do a nicely used green mat. So we've got the stick there, but it's not overly sticky. So I'm going to be using some pearl white, some glitter, some light green, dark green, and some red, all 12 by 12, all from Paper Mill Direct. As always, I'm going to be using my Cricut Fabric Brayer to really secure my cardstock onto my mat. 